Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada Maharaj. Hare Krishna, my obeisances. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Maharaj, I wanted to ask you, do you want us to wait because there are still a few coming in, rolling in, or would you like us to start the class? Well, what I can do is just open up with an invocation. Okay. And uh, we'll get to the verse afterwards. That's fine, Marsh. No problem, Marsh. Thank you, Marsh. Okay. Om Agyan Timidandasya Gena Jena Salakaya Chaksu Unmilitam Yenatas My Shri Gurvena Maha Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Gadam Mayam Dadati Swam Padanti Kam Bande hum shiguro shiuta pade kamalam shigurum vaishnavam scha shirupam sagajatam sahaganat raganatam vitam tam sajivam sadvaitam sarvaditam parijana sahitam krishna chaitanya devam shri radha krishna padam sahagana lalita shri vishakam vitam scha hey krishna karuna sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kancha Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavane Sudhi Vishavanu Suti Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Pancha Kalpa Tarubhischa Kripa Sindhu Bevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namaho Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamane Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravari Pucharine Nir Vishesha Sunya Vahi Pasyatya De Sitarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakti Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. So we'll begin with Srimad Bhagavatam, or it's a continuation of the series on Srimad Bhagavatam, and it's just at the beginning of the sixth chapter of the first canto, verse number two. Vyasa uvacha bhikshubir vipravasi te si te vijnana destra bistala vartamano vyayas yadye tatakim akarod bhavan. Translation. Srila Sri Vyasadeva said, What did you, Narada, do after the departure of the great sages who had instructed you in scientific transcendental knowledge before the beginning of your present birth? I'll make it 2.30 instead of 2.15. Yes. Okay. Well, why is it? Just a little. Yeah. I'm sorry. Srila yeah. Prabhupada's very brief purport. Yasudev himself was a disciple of Nardaji, and therefore was natural to be anxious to hear what Narada did after initiation from the spiritual masters. He wanted to follow in Narada's footsteps in order to attain to the same perfect stage of life. This desire to inquire from the spiritual master is an essential factor to the progressive path. This process is technically known as Sad Dharma Pracha. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Sri Vyasadeva said, What did you, Narada, do after the departure of the great sages who instructed you in scientific transcendental knowledge before the beginning of your present birth? So this uh, statement by Srila Vyasadeva is uh, foundational as it sets the uh, proper or the correct 
uh, relationship between guru and disciple. The guru wants, the disciple wants to learn and the guru is there to teach. But teaching flows from the spiritual master according to the enthusiasm of the disciple. That enthusiasm is to want to understand more about the process of devotional service, how to be successful in the execution of that devotional service. Who is Krishna? How does he interact with his parts and parcels? What is his uh, relationship with me? <laughs> so these questions must be asked. What is the use of the spiritual master if one doesn't inquire? And this is one of the uh, uh, regulative principles as mentioned by Srila Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Nectar Devotion, where he says that disciples should inquire how to make advancement in devotional service. We see that in the life of Srila Prabhupada. The uh, Prabhupada would say, I never asked many questions to my spiritual master, but I did ask him, and this was a few times, how can I serve you? Mm -hmm. So this, this is the most important question, how to serve and how to learn the process of, of how to serve. <laughs> Here we see Vyasadev, he understands that Nardaji is very advanced. Nardaji is the Rish, he's also called Narada Rish of the Devas. He is considered to be the most exalted personality amongst the Devas. And at the same time, he is above the Devas. Uh, Vyasadeva is interesting because he is actually a manifestation of the uh, energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the category of Shaktivesh avatar. So you might even say that Vyasadeva could be seen, depending on how, how you want to evaluate it, as being more of an elevated position than Narada in terms of his manifestation in this world as an incarnation to bring about the Vedic knowledge in writing to the entire world. But you see here, he's inquiring, he's interested, he wants to know, he remembers that his spiritual master was amongst great sages. And then at one point they instructed him and then he left their association but he followed those instructions as his life and soul, and that led him to become Narada Muni in his next life. So Vyasadeva is inquisitive. So this uh, Srila Prabhupada makes this point in um, Bhagavad Gita 434, where disciple should be inquisitive. Krishna actually speaks the verse in this verse, three principal points are emphasized. Pratipatena, Pariprasyena, and Sevaya. Pratipa means falling flat, humble, obeisances before the spiritual master. Paripasyena means to inquire from the spiritual master. And sevaya means to the, the results of that inquiry should be devotional service. In other words, one will be eager to offer service to the spiritual master who is representing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this point is very much needed and Prabhupada, in his purport, in this particular verse, goes on to say that one avoiding 
absurd inquiries and uh, dogmatic following. Blind following, he says. One should not follow blindly and one should not ask absurd questions. <laughs> he rejects these two points. Is not, not so bad, but many times it could lead to, in the sense that uh, one, when one hears something, they may misunderstand it and think they understand it. And therefore they follow it and it's actually something different than what they understand it to be. So this inquiry is essential. <laughs> and disciples must inquire regularly from the spiritual master and get clarification in the execution of their devotional service. There are disciples who don't want to interact with the spiritual master for some for certain reasons. Some of them are fearful of receiving instructions they can't follow. Some of them don't see the importance of that connection and therefore think that initiation was, now I'm initiated, now I'm okay, I know what to do, I'll go on. And there's others who don't know their relationship with the spiritual master. And only time they approach the spiritual master is either for blessings for something they want to do or to uh, somehow or other get <laughs> some uh, instruction that they that they had planned to do in other words they um, they have an idea what they want to do and they want to get that acknowledgement from the spiritual master so all these things are wrong ways to approach the spiritual master. Um, the understanding of the guru and disciple is a very complex category of dynamics, which play itself out in different ways according to time, place, and circumstance. But the essential thing is to inquire <laughs> Uh, if we think we can overcome material energy, then we will be disappointed and defeated because material energy is powerful. It's Krishna's energy. It's called Chaya. Chaya means shadow. It's a shadow of the Supreme Lord himself and it's very powerful. But one cannot overcome the material energy. Or one might think they have overcome it, but actually they're actually serving the material energy. So there's so many reasons to get clarifications in devotional service. A lot of times, oh, not a lot, but this is a common thing that happens where devotees think they get into trouble, they get into a difficulty. What happens, they, um, they rely on their own mind to uh, help them out of the situation. And a lot of times they won't even acknowledge that they're having a difficulty. They think, well, it's not so bad and it'll go away. I can overcome it. So um, it's not sometimes, and then other times devotees think, well, I don't want to bother the spiritual master because He's got so many things to do, and I just don't want to add to the burden. Well, there is a certain element of value in that way of thinking, but one should regularly make a point to inquire about philosophical teachings. Of course, now in our more developed ISKCON society, devotees have mentors where if they need guidance and help, they can go to a deputed mentor who represents the spiritual master and get their questions answered. They can also get advice on how to execute devotional service. Um, so that is also something now in order to extend 
the facility of more and more care for the devotees. Um, sometimes devotees don't even see their spiritual master for years. And so, or in other cases, the spiritual master may have been, has disappeared. When the spiritual master has disappeared, if you are fixed in devotional service, then generally you can continue on. But generally we also understand that it's always important to have a shikshu guru, someone who can be there to ask your, answer your questions. We call that the mentor system or someone who is a senior um, God brother or God sister of your, of your spiritual master who you can inquire from. So the mind has a tendency to be secret. The mind has a tendency to think I can solve my problems. And a lot of times devotees find that they, they don't even know the problem even because the mind gives them another answer for their problems. In other words, they think their problem is lack of sense gratification. So they go for more sense gratification as their problem, problem solving. And then they wind up more and more confused than before. Or they might think too much sense gratification is this, and sometimes they go too far in the opposite direction and can't balance their activities out. So there's so many reasons, and we see here, and this is the point that Srila Prabhupada made, the desire to inquire from the spiritual master is an essential factor to the progressive path. Sadharma Pracha, it's essential and it's mentioned throughout the scriptures, it must be followed. There's five ways to um, uh, to act wrongly in relationship to the spiritual master. These five are mentioned in one particular purport in the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, sixth canto. Um, let me see if I can remember the verse. It's, um, I believe it's, uh, uh, Lord Indra was rejected by Brihaspati when he committed offense to his spiritual master. So uh, I think the verse is, Sixth Canto, 11th chapter, verse number 17. Let's see if that, if I am correct. Maybe we can go to that verse, 6, 11, 17. Brenda, can you pull that up? If it, that's not the verse, it's somewhere in that same area. <laughs> It's been a while since I contacted that verse. Is, is this it, Maharaj? Six, eleven, seventeen. Mm -hmm. What's 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 the name of the chapter? Um, let me Let's check. take a look at the look at the chapter listings okay. of the different Six, uh, chapters. Maharaj, um, the 11th chapter is described as the transcendental qualities of Vrita Shura. No, that's not it. Go to, go to the listing of the uh, this canto. Oh, and we can chapter 7, Maharaj. Indra offends the spiritual master Brihaspati. Yeah, canto, yeah, okay, chapter 7. Yes. Is go to verse eleven. <laughs> Six, seven, eleven, Brenda. No, no, it's actually verse fifteen. Now I remember. Okay. Yeah. Six, seven, fifteen. Verse fifteen. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Wait. Let's bring up this one. No. Okay. Go to fifteen. Yeah. I think that's the chapter. A verse. This is interesting. Uh, 
Okay, here, he said, this is it. King of therefore, with great frankness, without duplicity, I shall bow, now bow my head at the lotus feet of Brihaspati, the spiritual master of the demigods, because he is the mode of goodness, he is fully aware of all knowledge and the best of Brahmins. Now I shall touch his lotus feet and offer my obeisances unto him. Here we go, and we'll let us in the purport. Okay, here we go. It says, uh, he decided henceforth he would be nish, nishata, non-duplicious. And then it goes down. A disciple should never be a hypocrite, should not be unfaithful, should not be disrespectful, and should not be familiar. So you'll find five points in this verse. A hypocrite, unfaithful, disrespectful, familiar, and duplicious. These are the five uh, ways that one uh, can act wrongly in relationship to the spiritual master. Hypocrisy, duplicity, familiarity, disrespecting, and ultimately, uh, what was the other one? Uh, familiarity, disrespect. Unfaithful. Disobedience, I think. Faithful, yeah. Okay. So if we can learn those five anarthas or things to avoid, then uh, we can start to develop practically in the right direction. Uh, doubting the spiritual master, criticizing, presenting the oneself as being advanced just to impress the spiritual master, speaking one thing and meaning something else, uh, getting familiar in the sense that one loses the respect to the spiritual master and starts trying to approach on an equal level. Um, sometimes the spiritual master will become very friendly with his disciple. But the disciple should not allow that to interfere with his proper mood of respect because as soon as you lose respect, you lose your ability to follow carefully the instructions. Then we look at it, then we're taken to be acting on the same level. It's not that the spiritual master wants respect, but the disciple has to give respect in order because the spiritual master is the bona fide representative of Krishna. Giving respect to the spiritual master means giving respect to Krishna. It's unfaithfulness means, well, sometimes I, I can accept what he says and sometimes I can't. <laughs> and of course, hypocrisy and duplicity is quite clear. So these are the five things that one should carefully avoid. And Prabhupada, again, makes this point by referring to the uh, verse in the Bhagavad Gita we just discussed. So there's so much you can say about uh, the relationships with the spiritual master. Um, there are many main points that we have to we have to understand our instructions there are devotees who receive personal instructions and there's devotees who are generally the majority who just receive the general instructions if you receive personal instructions then you are considered to be fortunate because you have a chance to make much more spiritual advancement 
by carrying out the instructions directly. But those who follow just the general instructions will make nice and bring a steady advancement in Krishna consciousness. And as Srila Prabhupada said, when asked, what is your most important instruction? He said, my most important instruction is to chant 16 rounds on beats every day without fail. So he made, he made that emphasis that this is the most important chant to keep our numerical vow of 16 rounds daily in chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And of course, there are other instructions such as reading Srimad Bhagavatam regularly, worshiping the deity form of the Lord either in the temple or at home, um, associating with devotees in a mood of friendliness and service, and uh, occasionally taking the opportunity to visit sacred places where Krishna, Lord Chaitanya had performed their pastimes. All these are required for rapid advancement in spiritual life. <laughs> this is all, all part of our development in Krishna consciousness. It's not easy to be a disciple. It's not easy to be a spiritual master, <laughs> especially in Kali Yuga, where everything is materialistically or oriented. And we find a lot of material principles, moods filter into that relationship and somehow weaken the relationship. So it's, we need to be very clear on what is the relationship and how to carry it out like that. Um, there was another point I was going to make. And once you learn, once you hear regularly from the spiritual master, and that way one will learn both the philosophy and the mood of the spiritual master. The sp spiritual masters, different ones may have different moods. And those moods are important to understand because it helps the, the disciple to understand the nature of their spiritual master and where he, em where he puts his emphasis in his instructions and in his own execution of devotional service. And of course, for those who are aspiring to become disciples, um, there is a uh, testing period prior to initiation where one should test the spiritual master to make sure that this is the person they want to uh, take shelter of and ultimately surrender fully. So that, that means asking questions and getting clarifications, mm -hmm. especially for those who are aspiring. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, because of the complexity of the world situation, guru and disciples are so far apart from each other the only connection is through some form of media. So we have to use that to keep the connections as best as we can. But the best connection is the personal connection. Okay, so these are some points we can think about. There's a lot I didn't cover <laughs> because it's such a complex uh, topic. <laughs> But we can go back to the original verse and see, here is a great exalted personality, Sri Vyasadeva. He wants to know what is it about his spiritual master that makes his spiritual master so advanced. He's advanced already. So this is the, the indication of a, of a uh, real spiritual master. They don't think themselves at all I mean, a real disciple doesn't think themselves advanced. There may even be cases where the disciple is more advanced than, than the spiritual master. But a disciple, if he thinks like that, he becomes fallen. 
And that, that plays itself by out by thinking, well, I know more and I know better than my spiritual master. When Srila Prabhupada was asked, uh, Srila Prabhupada, do you know everything? Prabhupada was immediately, he responded, I am not Krishna. <laughs> But then he added, he said, but I know what I need to know. <laughs> Which means that he, know, he knows what he needs to know in order to guide his disciples on the path back home, back to Godhead. That's given to him by Krishna directly. So for the sake of the disciple, the Lord empowers the spiritual master with that knowledge to help the disciple move forward. Ultimately, it's coming from the Lord. <laughs> All right, so we'll stop and see if there's any Thank comments so and questions on this most. Thank you so much, Marge. It, um, how was writing my questions down because i know this is a very powerful topic and it's always good for us disciples to hear this repeatedly to remind ourselves so i would like to ask devotees if there are any questions please uh do unmute yourself and do ask your question i am looking down the chat to see if there's any hands raised or you can just jump in if you need to devotees and just ask a question but Marj, I have a question while the others are thinking. Marj, when you started off, you said um, knowledge from the guru to the disciple flows according to the enthusiasm of the disciple. Can you shed more light on that, Marj? Yeah, the more enthusiastic, the more eager you are to hear, the more Krishna inspires the spiritual master to, to reveal. If you're not so eager to reveal, to know, you'll get something, but you won't get as much as you could. Your eagerness will bring out more and more. And that comes by way of Krishna in the heart of the spiritual master, who inspires the spiritual master to respond to that eagerness in so many different ways. That's Krishna. <laughs> spiritual master is surrendered to Krishna and therefore when the disciple wants to know more and more in his eagerness and Krishna will inspire that spiritual master to, to speak. <laughs> a lot of times when there's, you know, no, sometimes the spiritual master will try to go out of his way to inspire people to become enthusiastic, but enthusiasm is the nature of the soul's relationship with the Supreme Lord. So that if it's not there, that that eagerness, that enthusiasm, that desire to learn will become very little for that disciple. One has to have that eagerness. <laughs> it's called, when it becomes intensified, it's called laoyam or intense eagerness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maharaj. Are there other questions from devotees? Okay, there's one question, Maharaj, from Anisha. She said, uh, can you please give example of hypocrisy and duplicity? I'm, un I'm unclear on the meaning. Hypocrisy and, dupliss and duplicity. Yeah, mm. duplicity means that, you know, um, I say I'm saying something, but actually I have an, a motive, something else behind my activity. I'm asking a certain question, but I'm looking for, I'm looking for a particular answer because I'm based on that, based on that question. That's sort of a duplicitous attitude. In other words, you're not straightforward. You're just, you're trying to speak something. And a hypocrite is presenting himself as um, herself as, as, a, as very advanced, but actually they're not, they try to impress others with their uh, spiritual activities. They're just uh, 
hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. And we might even say that duplicity full blown becomes hypocrisy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maharaj. Um, are there any are there other questions from devotees? I'm trying to check the chat here. Maharaj, I have another question and you said you were listing the different reasons why disciples um, uh, try to avoid uh, taking instructions from the spiritual master. And one of it you said is when the disciple thinks, I know how to do what to do, I've taken initiation, I'm all good. How can we help a disciple, a devotee like that, or how can we be aware of such mentality and to rectify it? <laughs> well, if he's thinking like that and everything is going good, then maybe it's okay. But if it's not, then <laughs> it's obviously he's just fooling himself or she's fooling herself. If, if everything becomes clear and you're able to take the instructions and run with them, that's good. But generally, we always need to check in and see if we're going in the right direction, if we have a clear understanding. So um, it's hard, unless they start understanding from their own experience that they're making mistakes and they're becoming confused. They're, uh, they're, they're seeing sense gratification as an, uh, as a as a way to increase their Krishna consciousness. You know, there's so many subtleties of Maya that can creep into our devotional life that looks like Krishna conscious, but actually it's Maya's tricks. And that's why we have, because Maya knows exactly where your weaknesses are. And you should also learn your own weaknesses. That way you can strengthen those weaknesses and uh, not be vulnerable to be defeated by those those characteristics that could could cause you to fall down so we have to know where we're weak we can also get the instructions like that and then understand but you can't really tell a person until they actually uh show signs of, <laughs> of because of their their attitude of thinking I know everything, they, they make mistakes. They will make mistakes. <laughs> or even if they don't make mistakes, they become, uh, they may also become proud. And that's a danger also. So the question is, how do you help such persons? <laughs> You have to show them that uh, the, it's not so easy to become Krishna conscious. We, 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 we need association. We need to uh, inquire more into our present situation in order to improve or to overcome some inebriates. Thank you, Marge. There are two more questions here, Marge. I don't, I feel like I'm taking so much time from the other devotees. But um, one question, Marge, is in regards to showing respect and not falling prey to the offense of familiarity, every time we ask a question on Zoom or in a public audience, which words are used before asking your question? Dandavat pranam, humble obeisances, etc. What is the proper way? Yeah, it's the, that's the etiquette. All of those things are okay. When you say dandavats, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like this concise way of saying I offer my uh, humble obeisances. But I think dandavats is just a little bit of a, you know, it's a cliche that's kind of j jumped into our 
language. The best way is to say, um, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. I have a question, you know. Just as we we address a particular letter, we, we offer our humble obeisances and we glorify our spiritual master. We glorify Srila Prabhupada and then we ask a question. But Dandawats, I don't know, it's kind of like a, Dandawats is just like a lazy man's way of, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's kind of, the word, the word is glib. It doesn't really have much uh, feeling to it. <laughs> I was about to ask the question much, but you added more to it about how it got switched from please accept my humble obeisances to Dandavas. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I was just wondering how it, it got switched because I'm, um, yeah. Marge, another question from Mo Mohasani Radha Dasi. She said, she asked, how to serve spiritual master if we are not close to any temple in this situation? I feel quite useless. Every year I have to look for a new job. I can't even keep a simple job. So I'm thinking something is going wrong there. So how to serve you, dear Gurudev? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have to uh, just pass up that question because the answers are too personal. <laughs> I'm sure Maharaj will I don't think it's um, for the, personally reach out. It's not for the general, <laughs> it's not for the general audience, audience to hear. But uh, stay steady in your sadhana and try to serve the Vaishnavas as best you can. Take care of your, your wonderful daughter. And serve and associate with devotees, take care of your daughter and keep good sadhana like that. And jobs, I don't know anything about jobs. I know <laughs> that people need these things in order to live, but that's all I know. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Mohan Sini Mataji will reach out to you personally to get more. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prabhu. Um, Sri Devi Prabhu, please go ahead. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance. Glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, Guru Maharaj. I have two questions actually. I, when we write in our letters, we say, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Gurudev. Some devotees say all glories to Gurudev and then follow that up with saying all glories to Srila Prabhupada. What is the right sequence of honoring and respecting Srila Prabhupada and our Gurudevs? Yeah, I always say Prabhupada first and then the individual spiritual master second. Okay, thank you, Guru Maharaj. Second question I have is, and I'm really just blown away by how tricky our mind can be and how it can really mislead us and make us think, oh, I know that, I, I, I can handle that, I don't need to ask Guru every silly little thing and things like that. And then, you know, for months and years, we are on the wrong track and then suddenly we realize, oh my God, I made a mistake. So how can we guard against this um, tendency of the mind, as you rightly said, to be secretive and to be duplicitous and uh, dictate to us what we should do? Mm -hmm. That's why it's, it's one of the uh, loving exchanges between devotees. It's mentioned in the ne nectar of um, instructions is to reveal your mind in confidence with, with others. 
It's one of the six loving exchanges. So you can do that. These six loving exchanges, Prabhupada said, ha has been established in order to, uh, uh, no, Prabhupada said, I have established these temples in order to facilitate the, these six loving exchanges. So association of devotees helps us to get our questions, answers, reveal our mind and get over this uh, secret mind that comes in with proper association with devotees, talking to devotees, developing friendship with certain devotees, closer to friendship with certain devotees. I hope that helps, Sri Devi Prabhu. Yes, thank you so much, Guru Mara. Thank you, Anusuya. Thank you. Are there other questions from devotees? Uh, other uh, clarification that we need to ask more? This is a very, very, really good topic that we can ask as much as we can. Maj, I have a question. And, and um, you were speaking in your class that after the departure of a spiritual master, it's important for a devotee to have a deputed mentor. And Marjan, and you use the word deputed. That, can you shed some light, Marjan? That, because that's a pretty heavy word. And, I mean, yeah, it, it comes with a position, uh, we, I feel. Well, it's good because you get everything from one source. There are devotees who have a tendency to go all, all over the place, and then uh, they like to pick and choose what they like and what they don't like. If you get it from one source, then there's no question of picking and choosing. You, you have to accept that. So that's the that's the business of what is called shiksha guru. Yeah, and, and then devotees, I, I'm sorry, Mark. Devotees, devotees do that now. Mm -hmm. They come to you and they ask you a question, but they've already asked this question to somebody else. They're not completely happy with the answer they got, so they go to another person. And a lot of times it's not so much the answer, it's, it's that they're looking for a particular answer that they're trying to get. And then that will confirm you know, what they wanna do. Mm. Mm. So sometimes people come and I'll, they'll ask me a question and I'll say, "Do you, uh, have you talked to anybody else about this before? <laughs> and I say, yes. I say, well, what did they say? Okay. And Marge, you also added on that same point that uh, um, after the departure of a spiritual master, uh, if one is fixed in devotional service, they I'm, I'm, I, I hope I'm not um, mixing it up, Maraj, so please do correct me. I, if one is fixed in devotional service after the departure of the spiritual master, they may not need a mentor, something like that, I think you said. But how does one know, how does the devotee know that he's fixed in devotional service? Well, you, have, you, you know whether you're making advancement or not. There are certain characteristics that that are, you're, you're enthusiastic to serve, you're developing natural good qualities, you are uh, not interested in material things at all. These are all signs of the making advancement. But generally we find that in order to ensure our uh, not going outside of our devotional service, it's always uh, good to have someone we can ask questions to or get some clarification like that. Thank you, Maharaj. And Maharaj, I have one last Is that question. you see, does that help? Yes, Maharaj, it, it, it did help, yes. 
And Marge, I have one last question, and I think it's piggybacking. I'm going to take, and rather than me ask, I, I had this another question that just popped up, Marge. And okay, that is from um, Deepthi saying that she has to leave for work. So thank you for an informative class. Marge, uh, piggybacking on um, Sri Devi Mataji's question about the mind, you know, and you, you said that the mind has a tendency to be secret. And, and I remember maybe, you know, a few years ago, you gave a workshop on the mind can be the friend or the enemy. And sometimes, and then you also mentioned just now that we have to learn our own weaknesses because a small weakness can open up a loophole for um, Maya to come in and say, oh, whatever you are thinking is correct. How can we differentiate that in our minds? Because the mind is such a rascal, Maharaj. Um, how can we differentiate which particular point? That, that the mind, you know, the mind has a tendency to be secret. How can we know whether it's the good one or the bad one? Because sometimes, you know, we tend to feed our minds with the bad, making it to be good, and it may not be good. I hope I'm making sense. Tomorrow. We should check it with the we should check it with the spiritual master's instructions, with Srila Prabhupada's instructions. We have a check from Guru Shadow and Shastra, which is everything is available through that. Once you check it and you get a little understanding, if you need further clarifications and you can ask questions based on what you, what you learned. But if you just leave it up to the mind, well, what did Prabhupada say about this? Or what did Prabhupada do in a similar situation? In other words, you have to refer to higher authorities. Thank you, Maharaj. That breaks this mind mental secrecy. Mentors. Yeah. Marge, there's a comment from Manisha uh, requesting if you can give a series of classes on the subject of guru disciple relationship if possible. Hmm. <laughs> we can put it as something upcoming. I'm not sure I can get to it right away, but. Yeah, if I'm reminded again, maybe we can do it in the near future. That would be really awesome, Raj. I think it would be really nice. And another question from Susanna. She said, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All pleasure to Shri Prabhupada and you. These people who cannot follow, cannot face the result of following advice, a lot of people experience abuse in childhood and they literally trust their own mind only. This is a very common stumbling block in Krishna consciousness. Thank you for explaining about duplicity. It is something must be seriously corrected in one's behavior. That's just a, that's a comment, then, right? Yes, Marge, it's a comment. Yeah. Yeah, we carry impressions from previous, previous life experiences and also from previous lives too. There are, there are devotees who have been practicing Krishna consciousness for more than 20 years. And uh, they go to the temple sometimes, they chant sometimes, they read the books sometimes, but um, don't talk to them about getting a spiritual master. Uh, they'll listen to you, but they won't, none of it will register. They either don't have any faith in gurus or uh, they have this block about authority, which is generally a karmic feature of their existence. They can't accept authority no matter how it appears that has, and i've seen i know in fact i even know very nice devotees who are still bhaktas and bhaktins because they won't they can't take that step i even told one disciple one person who i know very well 
she's actually helps other people in their Krishna conscious, but she's not initiated. <laughs> she's helping other people because she knows the philosophy and she also knows she helps, she helps, she does service, very nice person. But she's, she has this other side to her where she can't take that next step. Mm -hmm. I've talked to her, I've tried to explain to her. I even told her who her spiritual master is because I, I, I got a, a sign that this is her actually her spiritual master. And when she heard that, she actually smiled. But um, nothing's changed since then. And she's been practicing um, close to 20 years like that. So yeah, there's people who can't. And the thing is that, you know, they can't, they won't, uh, they won't uh, progress beyond a certain point. Thank you, Maharaj. Sri Devi Mataji, you have a question? You can please ask. Oh, no, sorry, I, I forgot to take my hand down. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry. I thought you had a question. Okay. Are there other questions from devotees? Other um okay, I think from Prichit, yes. Please accept my whole obeisances. Oh, glory to you, Prabhupada. Oh, glory to you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Um, so when you were talking about this last example in Mataji, that's uh, you've been told who the spiritual master was and still doesn't want to take initiation. My understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, you don't take initiation, you don't have a Diksha Guru, then that lifetime, if you leave the body, you don't get a chance to go back to the spiritual world. Is that correct? Uh, well, anyway. the, 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 there, there is statements in that regard from Shastra that one must accept Krishna's representative in the form of the spiritual master, which is fundamental to the execution of devotional service. Yeah. Uh, there are super rare cases, which are not rare, but extremely rare, where someone can make it back to attain perfection without a spiritual master. But that's only due to many lifetimes of devotional service before then. But that's rare. That's super rare. But if anyone thinks like that, that that's, that's for them, then that's, that's a wrong mentality. Yeah, there's tad, vig, tad vigyartam gurum eva abhigatsche means one must accept the shelter of the spiritual master. And that's the third stage out of the nine stages of bhakti. Of, uh, Rupa Goswami has given us these nine stages. It's called bhajana kriya, accepting the shelter of the spiritual master and eventually accepting initiation. Yeah. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. Any other questions from devotees? Any clarification? Marge, there seem to be no more questions. Would you like to end with one? Oh, wait, Sri Devi has something. I just have a very quick question, Guru Maharaj. We uh, hear so much about Mirabai. Um, but we don't know who her spiritual master really was, but she was a very great devotee of Krishna. So what is the explanation behind that devotion that she had? <laughs> uh, she was living in Vrindavan. I think she might have been born in Vrindavan. Uh, yeah, she was... She's a great soul, and there's no doubt, no doubt about it. But uh, whether she had a spiritual master or not, I don't know, unless you do some very rigorous research and see what you could find. 
she did have association with Rupa and Sanat and Goswami also. Manisha says she posted somebody as her spiritual master, but I don't know enough about her life to say who was her guru or not. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Any last minute? Thank you, Elsie. Thank you. Any other questions, clarification that we need to ask, Marge? This is an amazing topic. Marge, if you don't mind, Marge, I might, if it's okay with you, Marge, if I could write to you if I have other questions. Yeah. Thank you, Maharaj. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if okay. there aren't any questions, Marge, would you like to end so... with one round? Yeah, this would be nice. I'm ready. Yes, Marge, it's all yours. I'm getting ready. Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Tanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasari Gaur Bhaktarindam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna. Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Rama, Hari, Rama, 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 Hari, Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari, Hari. Hari Rama, Hari, Rama, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hari, Krishna, 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 Hari, Hari. Hari Rama, Hari, Rama, 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 Hari, Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, Hari. Hari Rama, Hari, Rama, 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 Hari, Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.
Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Yatha, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Yatha, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, Shri Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai, Aur Bhimarande Hari 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 Go. Thank you so much Har Maharaj for giving us your association and words of wisdom and a wonderful deep topic and deep lecture and we thank the devotees for joining us. Vancha Krapa Tupi Astra Kripas in the Vaivacha. Patita nam pavane vya vaishna vya namo namo hasya prabhupad ki jai. His holiness Chandramani Swami ki jai. Thank you so much Maharaj and thank you to all the devotees. Thank you. My obeisances to everyone. Can I make an announcement? Please Maharaj. One of our, one of my disciples, his wife had a baby yesterday. His name is Avaduta. And his wife had a baby girl. So we want to uh, congratulate the couple and at the same time give blessings to the new child. Wonderful and, name. I and for, the, and uh, for those who's, who, know, who are ladies and who have given birth before, uh, she set a record in the hospital for the quickest birth ever done in that hospital. 24 minutes. Hare Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. <laughs> the doctors were astonished from the time the labor started to the time the baby came out was 24 minutes. <laughs> the baby was. My, it might be a Guinness Book record, Mara. That's amazing. Is that it, it's, it's really a Guinness Book record. <laughs> Her name is Surya. Her name is Surya Kanya, and she's from Slovenia. And uh, her her Guru Maharaj is Bhakti, is uh, Krishna Shetra Maharaj. She is, and uh, the husband is my disciple. Amazing that 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 soul must be a. Trooper for Shri Prabhupada's mission to come out in 24 minutes. That's amazing. And the baby was over 4 kgs. <laughs> wow. That's a Almost, special baby and a strong one. Yeah, very strong. More than 4 kgs. 
That's a wonderful okay. news. What our prayers to our dude and her baby, the baby and the mother and the father. That's such wonderful news. Thank you so much for sharing the good news with us, Maharaj. Yeah, please bestow your blessings on the newborn child. Hari Hari Bol. She's going to be a troop of a Prabhupada's mission. Uh, I think so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay. Hare Krishna devotees. Hari Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. <laughs>